And so when they pick him up, people start getting sick. The guy is apparently dead, and so they're just, they, as soon as they make contact with him, people are getting sick, people are dying, and then this investigator shows up, and he goes by the investigator. And as the investigator comes in, he is, like, you know, really kind of off-put by the fact that his girlfriend is now, or his ex-girlfriend, <laughs> once the investigator shows up, he's off-put by the fact that Pretty much his ex-girlfriend's dead, and then all these other people have died. And now he's having to go into this room. So fully decked out, fully suited up, he goes into this room and just kind of reflects on that and reflects on this loss and this feeling of, you know, oh, man, like, you know, this this woman that, you know, I had these issues with and this woman that, you know, he has a history with is dead. And then he has to do his job. So doing his job, he now looks around this room and he spots, you know, the, the victim, the dead guy, right, whose name is Victor. And then he starts seeing all these notes and all these different, you know, kind of clues. And he starts piecing together the puzzle that this guy went to another dimension. And then when he came back, that something came back with him. And that if you touch him, something's going to happen to you.